Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today we are outside. We are doing some garden work, some yard work. I'm getting the garden or terrace um, ready for winter and I'm starting off on this side because I planted, I think two years ago, I planted a, a flower that is um, an Ekletterpflanze. I don't know the English word. It's climbing, a climbing plant, if you want. That's the translation from German to English. I don't know if it's the right word for it, but it climbs all over. The thing is, this year it's gone crazy, but it went all over to my neighbor's yard. And um, that's not a good thing. <laughs> it even, if you can see just on the right there, I'm pulling it off. It even went into the tree of our neighbors. Um, this thing grows crazy and I really needed, needed to get it off the neighbor's yard. And um, so I'm just pulling it all off. I'm cutting it. It will grow back next year. And next year I need to make sure that it's not overgrowing my neighbor's yard and be careful that I cut it uh, before it does that. But everything is fine. Nobody uh, said anything about it. There are old people living next to us. Um, so I don't know if they even recognize it. They're not, they're not out in the yard very often, but of course I don't, I'm not going to leave it like this. Yeah, this is the first thing I did that day. And just in a minute, you will see how much yard waste, uh, I'm going to throw out. It's crazy. If you look like this, you can't even tell. And after I cut everything, of course it's looking better and there's not so much overgrown, but still there is a lot. So, um. It was really time to get this job done, that it's not going to overgrow the yard too, too much. So yeah, there's not only this flower, growing flower, climbing flower thing, there is also some ivy and I'm also trimming the ivy because I don't want it to be to overgrow their entire yard. So I'm also doing that and then it's ready for next year to grow back and be beautiful. And uh, the good thing, what I like about the ivy is that it's all, all year round green. So this wall is not going to be like empty gray and sad. It's going to be green throughout the entire year. I just wanted to let you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would really love to grow. Um, lately, my videos are not getting as many views as I'm used to and I don't really know why. Probably because I'm trying new things out um, and that's fine, but I need to figure out a few things. Maybe I can't keep up with the two videos per week, but um, there will be definitely a video on Tuesday. So make sure if that you are subscribed to my channel and also hit that notification bell, then you will be notified whenever I upload a video. I'm still kind of new to this YouTube world, but I really enjoy doing it. But I need to focus on growing now and um, making my videos better. So I would like to focus on that and spend my time uh, doing that. So probably I can't keep up with two videos every week, but I will try my best. And just right now we are on a holiday. The kids are off school, so that's also why I can't probably can't keep up with two videos. Sunrise in the morning light, feeling good and feeling right. Every task falls into place. Got a smile upon my face, so I'm falling. Colors bright, working hard from dawn till night. Each chore done, a sweet delight. Golden days, oh. What a sight Get it all done Feel so high Underneath the autumn sky Precious 
just in any go much yard waste so much overgrown but um, i'm happy that everything is gone and cleaned up and now i'm just needing to clean up the floor with the rest and here you can see the ivy is rooted and i took it out and i think i'm going to plant it on the other side of our garden space um, onto the other wall if you are not new here you probably know which wall i mean and if you are new here you will see it later in today's video <laughs> yeah i'm going to plant it over there so maybe it can grow on there as well because i think i prefer a more of a green wall instead of only having these stones um, and uh, the good thing is that ivy is also green in the winter time and so we have some green more green in our um, garden after i did this cleanup some areas i think my neck and my arms they were itching a little bit and i know that ivy is um how do you call it poison but i thought only if you eat it is it also poison if you touch it i mean i learned in a youtube video that there is poison ivy but it's not the same right this is something different i mean if you touch it you don't get poisoned but um is it maybe also uh, not good even the normal ivy if you touch it um, I don't know or maybe the other plant I can't tell maybe it's just in my head because all the little animals that are falling down um, even my head was itching a lot um, if I just think about it it starts itching again <laughs> so maybe it's just that but maybe you know if if it's uh, poison if you are not allowed to touch ivy or if you touch ivy too much if you get like um, uh, allergic re reaction to it let me know down in the comments if you know anything about that and now after i cleaned up all the leaves and all the rest that is on the floor i'm moving on to my tomato plant and my tomato plant is looking really sad and um, it wasn't working out great this year there's snails they are just they're just annoying you can see they've been eating up all of my tomatoes i think we had like just a few ones we this one is still good we can keep this one but i'm done i'm over it i'm taking it i'm removing it i'm taking it out i'm throwing it out and probably next year i'm just going to plant some nice flowers in here um, some flowers the snails don't like to eat because um, I hate the battle against the snails. I tried um, the tried putting some egg shells down and that worked. I have like my sunflowers and I've been putting loads of egg shells. It's not you need to put loads. you need to put put make you need to fill it up with egg shells so the snails are not going to um, walk over it. but after it's been raining, some of the egg shells had moved in some ways were freed up for the snails and again they've been climbing up my sunflowers luckily they they were able to bloom maybe i'm going to put some nice flowers in here or maybe some seeds some other flowers and put loads of eggshells in here probably at the beginning of next year i'm starting to collect all the eggshells <laughs> 
because that's the only thing that really worked. Okay, what I really wanted to do is I bought some plants um, at Aldi and at Ikea. I'm going to plant these in these planters and put them in front of our house. We have like small windows in front and windowsills and I want to put them on there. The thing is, I bought these I think last year or the year before even, I can't really remember. And when I water these plants, the water just goes through it. It just goes through it and all the water is running out of it. So this year, I tr first I tried to put down these little um, pebbles, um, ceramic pebbles, I think there are, but still um, the water uh, is just running through it. So today, this year I'm putting some plastic bin bags in it and I'm making holes in it of course so the water can drain but it's not just going to run through it straight away. So at IKEA I bought these little trees and I'm putting three in one and I have three of these um, planters and in the third one I'm going to put the I'm really bad in remembering names flower names even in German I don't know the name but the purple ones just in the back in the third one I'm going to put the purple ones. Woke up this morning, sun shining bright Gonna take on the chaos, gonna make it right Dust on the shelves, clutter in the hall Today's the day, gonna conquer it all Sweeping up the mess, clearing up the space Feeling so alive, with a smile on my face I really like the way they turned out. It's even nice for Christmas, uh, for the winter time. That's why I planted these because fall, I feel like fall is almost over. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to put um, the trees in, in two of these. So there is also, they're also good for the winter time. I really like it. And the third one you can see is broken. So I just fixed it. Um, I just screwed in some uh, screws and it's not looking super nice from the outside but I don't mind I'm just turning it around so you can't even see it Have you subscribed to my channel yet? Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with this one. I'm putting some plastic bin bags in it with some holes and then I'm going to plant these nice purple flowers. Are they flowers? Yeah, they are flowers, right? <laughs> and um, the thing is I prefer uh, if like if I'm planting something, I prefer if they're all of the same kind. Um, I don't like if it's too mixed up, uh, different flowers, different plants. Um, so that's why I'm putting all of the same ones in each planter. Let me know down below in the comments what you prefer. Do you, are you a person that loves all different kinds of flowers in one pot or and all different kinds of colors? Um, or are you like me and you prefer if it's more simple and minimal looking and just putting one kind in? one pot it's also the same with my um with planting in my garden bed i prefer like 
I, I, I can, I like to have different kinds of flowers in my garden, but, but I, I like if the color matches, you know, I wouldn't plant like red and yellow and pink and purple and whatever, white all together. I prefer if it's like purple and white, for example, that's my favorite color. So purple and whites um, are always my go-to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's because it's more, more simple. And here I wasn't sure what I'm going to do. Um, I left them in there for now, but uh, you will see later. Um, I wasn't liking it. I lived with it for a day because I picked up the camera another day and there I'm going to put them somewhere else. Now, of course, I need to clean everything up. Um, that's always the least fun thing to do, but it needs to be done. So I'm putting everything away. I'm giving these ones some water and then I'm going to bring them outside. So guys, while I'm recording this voiceover, it's the last day of school and kindergarten for my girls. So they are at home for two weeks. And um, let's see what we will do. We don't have any plans, we're staying at home. I'm going to visit my grandmother. Um, I think I told you that in a different video, have I? I can't remember. So we are going to visit my grandmother she's going to be 91 this year very soon and uh, yeah she's not living on her own she's living together with my aunt and my uncle um, and so she's not by herself but my aunt and my uncle they are on holiday and during the time she doesn't like to be by herself anymore especially at night so um, my mother went over to her place and stay, is going to stay with her until my aunt and my uncle are on holiday. And I decided while we are on holiday, um, we are going to visit both of them so we can spend some time with my mother and my grandmother together. And I'm actually really excited about it. We're only going to stay like two nights. She's not living super, super far away from our place. It's like a one hour drive. So um, yeah, we're going to spend some time, some quality time. You never know how much time you have left with your loved ones. So I'm really happy that we can spend some time with my mother and my grandmother together. So, okay, the kids were playing with these horse supplies. My oldest daughter used to go horse riding, but she stopped and they like to play, like pretend playing horse riding things cleaning the horse outside the thing is um they broke the box i don't know how probably somebody stepped on it uh so i decluttered a few things and threw it out the box and just kept a few brushes and things like that i'm going to put them into a different box into our garden shed and now i wanted to push the table all the way over to the wall because we are not really using it anymore. Actually, we are never using it that much. It's always easier to just sit inside and eat. And if we want to sit outside, we always sit on the rocking chairs or on the um, outdoor bed, but not really on these chairs on the t at, at the table, at the outdoor table. Also, these chairs are very heavy, so it's even hard to um, to move them back and sit in, in them. You know what I mean? So I don't know if we're going to keep this table and these um, chairs next year. I'm leaving them here for now. Um, maybe we're going to buy some different chairs so it's a lot easier to sit on. All, just small little things like that um, make us not do something. So we are not sitting out here because the chairs are too heavy. And yeah, they were expensive actually, but they are looking very rough. I know I need to um, give them a coat of paint, but yeah, they were really expensive. So it's even harder to get rid of these. Um, but yeah, you have to be true to yourself or I have to be true to myself and probably it's better or yeah, better to get rid of them. And this is not the same day as you can see, and it's pretty cold that day but i really wanted to get the job done outside i wanted to remove these uh flowers leaf plants i don't know how they are called they are actually from our neighbors and they are going through the wall which is a bit annoying actually um i left them growing this year 
because I thought maybe growing over the stones and have some greenery on the wall it would look nice but they haven't been growing much on our side and um, it's a shaded side so probably that's why so next year I make sure that whenever it's coming through the walls that I'm going to pull it out straight away because if it's tangling around these wires um, it's pretty annoying to get them off yeah and here you see I'm planting the other two ones I kept yeah I wasn't sure what I'm going to do with these I'm going to plant them in this pot because this pot is still um, empty or it was still empty and like that it's I think it's looking pretty and if I sit inside or if I'm in, at the kitchen in the kitchen I can see outside and I can see and I can see these nice um, plants I'm quickly cleaning off this thing and storing it in our garden shed for next year. Maybe I can plant something nice in there next year. Okay guys, I'm nearly done with all, all the outdoor cleanup I wanted to do. There is still a little bit more I will do when it's getting even colder. I really would like to trim or I need to trim my roses a lot more because I want them to grow um, stronger back next year. And um, of course, when it's getting really cold, I need to put like a cover over my olive trees and all of these things. But for now, it's fine. We are still going to have hopefully some more sunny days, have some more fall weather instead of winter weather for a few m weeks. Hopefully, I really, really appreciate all of you guys who are still there. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Just wanna.